Dad, good to see you. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Thanks. Okay, so which one should we go in? there and this leads to the choir so what's over in here so Agrippa chan channels Weyer. Weyer taunts me from the other side I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa how an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he is and has been for my centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. So I'm guessing these people actually live for like more than a century. I'm guessing that's because of how deformed they are, they're actually not human, but I guess we'll find out later. Um, Weyer claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs, <clears throat> but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first, so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would be happily a, a Blake. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release, to release Agrippa without killing him. Ware told me to feed him a tonic from from a paralyzer, vital and tam tempter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I could find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools, so that's what we need to go to the choir for to get this fungi. The verti the, the, the verti can be extracted as a usual from my from any agonized human victim's blood. Oh great, so we have to extract more blood. I need a large amount to distill its property. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamp Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. Well, that's a relief. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. Tempter. So if I'm saying it wrong, then <laughs> there's your, there's my excuse. I believe it's a property of the, of the secretation in the water dwelling. Kara, Karen. I'm, I'm, I think that's the water monster. I believe. I will have to address Weyer with with this and he will have to supply me with a host also a properly prepared well should also su suffice to contain it okay let's see what this is in court the order of the black eagle spew their politics as each other while i sit quietly in place will willfully forgotten once in a while someone will notice me and lose themselves in in a silent cover before regaining their senses they all know i am the end and the same alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order i have seen them take their fathers places and they want to grow old and pass away while i remain the same aged not by time but by anguish wasted my lantern You. Let's see what's in here. Open up. It's been a while since we actually came across these things. Okay, so how's my sanity doing? Slight headache. That's not so bad. Uh, that much oil. 
to um, oil containers, a lot of tindies, and four Latin anonyms. I think we're doing pretty good, so let's go to the chance or the choir. It had gone too far. The man was suffocated in, as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look at the... Uh, I didn't read the rest! Who are you to question me? What? I was just asking why wasn't I able to not finish reading that. Okay, so I guess down there is where the actual choir is. Because this is just the choir entry. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Uh, what the fuck? No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Cut the lines, paint the man. Leave the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. So I'm guessing this is all just a memory, so whatever happens here, I have the least to worry about, hopefully. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. So this is where I executed a man, in cold blood, and we don't get to keep the dagger. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, what the? Where did you come from? You weren't there before. And you weren't there before. Bucket. Nothing. Wait. Well, time to proceed down to the choir. Main hall. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. <laughs> this is just sick. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. 
It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Shoot, there's a monster somewhere. Where is it?